Okay, let's do an exercise here on writing two-dimensional array worksheet two. It turns out it's a poorly phrased question. So I'm sorry if you uh, are watching this video. Um, the worksheet is exercise here, number one at least, is, is poor. Instead of a two-dimensional array, it should actually be a one-dimensional array. And let's pretend that that array numbers has some number of elements in it. We don't know how, how many. They're numbered, the positions are numbered from zero up to some uh, upper boundary. And there might be numbers in here such as five, four, three, two, six, three, uh, 15. And we'll need a loop. We'll need a for loop. Uh, perhaps it uses the variable i as its loop variable. And as with many of these for loops that work with arrays, the uh, upper boundary of i will be the length of the array. i less than numbers dot length. Keep in mind that it needs to be dot length and not dot length with parentheses. And make sure it's less than and not less than or equal to. Now instead of the, the normal i++, plus plus, this will be more efficient if we do i plus equals 2. So this for loop ends up checking position 0. And then when i adds 2 to itself, it goes to position 2 and checks that. And then uh, 4 and then 6. And even if there's a position 7, it's going to skip over 7. And we won't have to worry about anything because i will just automatically go to 8 in which case this will be false and everything's taken care of. Well, uh, in the body of this for loop, you're going to have to figure out what we need to do. We need, need to replace all occurrences of num. Hey, let's pretend that num is equal to 3. So if there's a 3 in any one of these every other position, like this 3, it's going to, going to need to be replaced with um, the value 3. I'm sorry, if num, let's say that num is, uh, um, let's say that num is the number 6. That's what uh, the situation I'm talking about. If the number is 6 and it's found in one of these even numbered positions, like this one right here, it's going to be replaced with the number 3. So you'll need an if, and then you'll have to do something like if numbers, square brackets, uh, equals num, then set something equal to 3. And there's no need for an else. So here you go. You have a, a little bit of work left to do here. You need to fill in that blank. You need to fill in that blank. And if you need any local variables, you'll need to declare them there. And since this is a void method, I'll just tell you that there's no return statement. The method just kind of ends right there. So there's very little for you to do. Good luck. Sorry about the inconvenience of uh, perhaps you attempted this worksheet or this exercise. It's really a worksheet that uh, covers one-dimensional arrays since this array here numbers is a one-dimensional array and not a two-dimensional array. Hey, looking at the next exercise, this is another one-dimensional array named names. Uh, maybe a Bo, a Mo, Joe, and Fred. Those uh, strings are stored in some array and changing the color of my pen just because it was hard to see that green. We need to somehow remove the last letter of the string stored in the last position of names. We need to remove that letter D. Now it's possible to do this with a single line of code. And uh, we're writing a code segment here, not a whole method. So maybe we have a variable that's a string called last word. And it's set 
equal to nothingness. And then we set last word equal to names, square brackets, names dot length minus one. Now think about this. Names square brackets means that we're picking out one of these words. And which word are we picking out? Well, what's the length of this fictitious array? The length here is 4. And 4 minus 1 is 3, which means we are pulling out the word Fred. So the word Fred, the string Fred, is going to be assigned into this variable last word. This is magic right here. Names.length minus 1. It's exactly what we need. Okay, so once we establish that, and we've stored the word Fred in the variable last word, I'll let it up to you to figure out how to remove the last letter of last word. Uh, maybe you have like last word equals, and then um, last word dot substring, something comma something to pull the D off we need to start at zero and then you fill in this blank right here somehow take me up to the letter E so that all of this becomes FRE and that gets stored and overwrites the word Fred FRE overwrites Fred and you need to come up with uh, what needs to be put in that position after the comma in the substring method. Good luck with that.